today we are celebrating looking good that feels good. My friend Caitlin from Olive is here and she lets us in on some of her delicious recipes that will make us more beautiful. And one of them involves ingredients from the refrigerator that are past their due date. They are the key ingredient to a nourishing face mask. She'll grab a few other simple items from the kitchen and whip up a delightful do-it-yourself lotion. We'll even throw in a bit of color with the mineral cosmetics that you can stir up on your own. A good looking show is just ahead. Keep it here. On my bed. I've been away a bit too long, but now I'm coming home. But we are all about looking good that feels good for today's show. And we have Caitlin from All of You here to share some of her wonderful concoctions with us. Now, I know we're going to start things off with a wonderful face mask. However, it does look like we're getting ready to make a nice uh, healthy snack or something for lunch. <laughs> Absolutely. It looks like that because everything that we have here today are items that you would find in a common refrigerator. A lot of times when you go to the refrigerator, you're dis disappointed to find that your items have spoiled. There's no reason you need to throw it away. You can simply mash it up. You can slap up. them on your face instead. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go through and just let you know a, a few of the common ingredients okay. that you probably have. So you have nothing out here from the drugstore or, I mean, literally everything that you're going to create the mask out of is from the kitchen. From the kitchen. Okay. You want to get it so that everything inside is melted okay. and thoroughly hot, but not so hot that it'll separate the solution. Probably so we don't want it boiling in there. No, probably about as hot as you can get your tap tap water hot. Okay. That's probably a good indicator. You don't want it too cool, otherwise it will chunk up when you go. So to melt pour it, it down, hot to the touch, and we're good to go. Mm. Alright, perfect. Okay. And then what do we do with it? Alright. Once you have it all melted down, at this point you're gonna want to be able to give it a little bit of a stir, get everything integrated together. You're going to mix that with that water and we're going to have lotion, huh? Okay. We hope, we hope. <laughs> At this point, you have two options. You can either put the essential oil right in the blender. Okay. If you want the whole batch to be one particular fragrance. Or you can opt out of the fragrance if you want to individually fragrance it. Oh, and so you could break it down into some smaller portions then after the fact and stir yep. that in. All right. This one isn't picky about what it's stored in. You Really, you can store it in any container. I, of course, have one that's especially made for the eyeshadow, but any any jar will do, any little jar is fine. And does this have like an expiration day? Does it last indefinitely? I mean, you know, cornstarch doesn't ever really go bad. So. No, it doesn't. So basically the life of the cornstarch is what the life of your eyeshadow. Minerals, we know, pretty much <laughs> last forever. <laughs> That's, forever. <laughs> That's right. So this is great. you don't have to worry about that. You'll probably get sick of wearing that particular shade before you'll run out of it or have to throw it away. And there's a huge range of colors and things available. They can get them at your store or online. So mm -hmm. you can also add some of the glitter. Oh, they love it. Give them a little <laughs> shimmer, a little <laughs> sparkle on the lip. So you're in the little lab mixing stuff up all the time. <laughs> all day long. <laughs> Thank you, Caitlin. I love you. I've got to stop and think just what it means to live. Something's gotta give. Something's gotta give. Something's gotta give. Yeah, something's gotta give. Your actions never tell a lie. I didn't hear you say goodbye. 